Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Basecast. In the Old Testament, we find lots of uh, periods of time where the Israelites, the kingdom of Judah, for example, is under threat and being attacked and at war with different people. We find that in the, the book of Kings, where one kings and two kings tell us about the different kings of the Israelites and how they have to fight off the Assyrians and others all around them in these different battles that they have. And they at times call out to the Lord their God for help. Such a call goes out in 2 Kings 19.19, 19, where King Hezekiah says, O Lord our God, deliver us from his hand, so that all kingdoms on earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. So King Hezekiah is calling out to God to be delivered from the hands of other kings and warriors who are fighting against him, um, saying that if you do this, Lord, not only will you be assisting us in this battle, but that all kingdoms in the world will know that you are God. So it's not just something that's happening in his time, in Hezekiah's time. It's something that needs to be said and done down through the ages. We all, all peoples everywhere, need to know that God, our Father in heaven, is God of all of us. And he is the one, the only one, who put all of this stuff together and makes it work. We need to pray that others will know about God our Father and that he is the one God, the one true God alone. How do we do that? How do we tell people about our God, about the God we believe in, when other people believe all sorts of other things about other gods? Because that, that's the case, isn't it? We, we're in a, a multicultural, multi-religious society, it seems today. And, and there's all sorts of different faiths and beliefs and things going on. How can we claim our God is unique and special? Well, we do because that's who he claims he is, unique and special. And further to that, he has shown himself to us personally in Jesus. You see, Jesus is the focal point, isn't he, of everything. It's not about religion. It's not about God even. It's not about spirituality. It's about Jesus. Jesus makes the difference between the Christian faith and everything else. Because Jesus is God incarnate and we can know him. That's how God answers Hezekiah's prayer eventually by making himself known to us so that we can know him and follow him. The people in Hezekiah's day, they didn't have that personal revelation of Jesus. They still had to live by faith in the God that they knew from their ancestors. We today have it a lot easier and still we make a mess of it. Not only life, but also our relationship with God, even though we have Jesus, our saviour. So what's happening in the Old Testament isn't just a piece of history. It's a piece of understanding of who God is and how he can be called upon and how he acts and reacts to our prayers. Hezekiah called out for his help and God was there supporting him, helping him along the way. We call out for God's help and he is there supporting us too. We have a special relationship with God through Jesus, our Saviour. That should make it easier for us to tell other people about our God. Because all we've got to do is introduce them to Jesus. Say, come, meet with him. Then you can know God, your Father in heaven. Easy, isn't it? Why don't we do it every day? There's a thought. See you soon.